Well guys, it's a pretty exciting day. We're in LA, we're at the San Fernando Goodwill Bins outlet and I'm digging through all of this good stuff to try and find a bunch of really good stuff that we can sell onto eBay. This is pay by the pound for any of you guys that haven't done this before. I've done it a couple of times and I absolutely love it. You find some incredible things and we're hopefully gonna do exactly that today. So let's dive into it and see what we can find. So I was having a chat out the front to a few of the guys in the bins and they said that this is one of the most competitive bin stores in LA. So I've got my work cut out for me today. When the guys go ahead and put out these trays, this is stock from out the back that no one has seen before. You've got to stand on the yellow line and wait for security to say, get into it. And that's exactly what you're seeing here. Security have given us the all clear to get stuck in and see what we can find. And I found this hat. I'm always looking for my hats in the bins and I was pretty happy to see that straight off the bat. I kept having a bit of a dig and there were gonna be a few items that I'm gonna show you guys today that are gonna go on to sell for some great money. Once you've found a few items, these are all the trolleys here and all of these trolleys are everyone's individual finds. You can't touch them. If you're to touch them, you're gonna get into a lot of trouble. I had this one here, the trolley on the right hand side, and the price that we're gonna be uh, paying for today is $3.19 per pound. Here's a couple of my finds. I was able to find this hat right here, which I absolutely loved. It was an LA State Penitentiary tag team hat, and it was completely vintage. It had a West Pro tag, and I really think I'm gonna be able to get some significant money for this on eBay. I kept having a bit more of a dig, and I found this hat. This was an adored uh, baseball cap, cool little smiley face on it. It's got the classics tag on the underneath. I should be able to get about $25 for that. It wasn't the only hats that I found. There were these eight hats. This Hellas hat is a UK brand and it sells for about $25. So that's gonna make me some good money. These ones here were some baseball hats and then we had a drug vibes and we also had an RVCA Ruka hat. They should all be about 25 each, but I did put the sport hat back. Um, they are pretty common. This one right here was a really good pair of Clifton 7 Bondi running shoes. Um, so Hoka is a really good brand. I should be able to get about $60 for these shoes. The condition was excellent and I did find the other pair. Uh, a pair of Birkenstocks here, while they are just such a great shoe and they sell for some really fantastic money on eBay, it's the heel burn that uh, caused me to have to put those ones back, unfortunately. A pair of Fila Disruptors there, they sell for about $35 to $40 on eBay. This Pikachu plush, loved the fact that it was brand new with tags. I had to go ahead and grab that. Quite a small plush as well. And then we had some Dragon Ball Z DVDs and I was stoked to see that these are actually region four DVDs. So it's a really good DVD set and it also plays back home in Australia. So that means I could go ahead and pick these up. I should be able to get $25 a piece for each of those. Uh, this one here is some clothing now guys. We've got a Ralph Lauren America flag coloring. Uh, men's polo shirt. I should be able to get about $30 for that one. We've got this brand here, guys. If you haven't heard of this, it's called Hundreds or The Hundreds. And it's got a really nice uh, little side print there on the arm, a long sleeve tee. Hundreds, I reckon maybe $25 to $30 for that one there. Free postage would be probably a scenario that could play out on eBay. Uh, there was a lot of UCLA Bruins uh, t-shirts and, and you know clothing items here in the bins. Uh, I did see a lot of it, but I ended up going ahead with that one there. Um, this is a really big bolo brand, guys. Johnny Cupcakes. Do your research on eBay with this brand. It actually sells really well. I don't see a whole lot of it back home in Australia, but I am aware of the brand. So to see it here at the bins was very, very sweet. I should be able to get maybe $35 to $40. Had a staff uh, number, uh, name on the back of that one as well. Um, so that might make it worth maybe a little bit more. I don't know. This one here was a vintage Nike t-shirt. Uh, look, I didn't like the fact that it was a white tee because they are often dirty and stained. Uh, but given it was vintage Nike, I couldn't say no to this. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how much I think I'm gonna be able to get for it, but you gotta remember these t-shirts are literally like a dollar a piece. So I'm gonna be making profit on these. I love LA. This was kind of like an LA uh, Staples Center Lakers game handout tee. So there's not gonna be a lot of value in that, but it was still cool. And then this one here was a Ralph Lauren, very heavy cotton uh, women's uh, top there as well. So look, this was the first rotation of the day. There's plenty more to come. Right, so I'm two hours down. It's been a very, very busy morning running through all these bins, but so far some pretty good pickups. I'm, I'm happy with what we've been able to grab. It's super competitive in there. There's a lot of people for a Monday, but um, we're just gonna keep plugging away all day and hopefully we can get a bit more lucky, but um, there's a Goodwill store just around the corner, an actual shop, 
Uh, so I'm just gonna go into the store now and see what we can find. I also need a bag as well. All these finds today are gonna have to go into a bigger bag, which I don't have. I've just got a little backpack on. So we'll see if we can find a big bag in the, uh, in the Goodwill outlets. So this is my first thrift store of the trip. So I'm really interested to see what the price points are here. And I found these, a pair of Kyrie basketball shoes that I was definitely interested in. And the $9.99 price point there was a good one. I was really happy to see that. That's about $12 to $13 Australian. So you could definitely make some money selling that shoe on eBay. Uh, but I ended up leaving it behind. Uh, this one here, a pair of On Clouds. You can see a little bit of a fabric tear on the toe. Plus there's some wear and tear on these soles, as you can see. So while it was a really good price point and a very good shoe with On Cloud, uh, I ended up leaving it behind based on condition. This one here though was a good one. It was a pair of Doc Martens for $20. That's about $25 Australian. So there's definitely some profit in this shoe, uh, but given the size of it and the heaviness of it, to take it back home, probably wasn't quite worth the spend so early on in the trip. This McDonald's, Kevin Garnett, All-American jersey, I probably should have grabbed this, guys. There's definitely a bit of reluctancy as to why I didn't do this. Uh, I really kind of regret it. Uh, McDonald's made in USA, $12.99. I should have grabbed it. I went back into the thrift, uh, sorry, I should say the bins, and I had a look at this, which was a really nice big thick jacket, but it was a Levi's jacket, and it was in great condition, size 2XL, really quite heavy, and that meant that the postage back to Australia in my luggage was going to be limiting. So I didn't want to pick that one up. I kept having a bit of a dig and I found this one here, which was an LA Lakers promotional t-shirt that they give out at the Staples Center uh, when they made the conference finals. So not a bad tee, probably could have grabbed it, but I ended up leaving that one behind as well. But it was cool to see in the bins. Uh, this one here, really cool pair of Under Armour basketball shoes. Uh, I am trying to source a lot of shoes while I'm here in the States. So if I pick a shoe up in the bin, it's gonna be better than a thrift store because it's gonna be a lot cheaper. The soles though, unfortunately, were no good for that one there. These though, were a great pair of shoes. I was really happy to see these. They were a very good size uh, and they were in excellent condition. It's also really difficult to find both pairs of shoes when you're in the bins because often you find just the single shoe. Uh, but these ones here were obviously in great condition and it was a complete set as well. So I was wrapped to find them. I put them straight into the trolley and uh, we kept moving on. This one here was another really cool hat that I found. I just kept collecting hats throughout the day. And this one was just a really cool plain uh, Vans hat that should sell for about $20 to $25 on eBay. And I also found these Ciccone running shoes. Ciccone is a decent brand. I don't sell a whole heap of Ciccone, but I also don't thrift and source and find a lot of Ciccone. So I'm happy to go ahead and pick it up here because it is only gonna be like everything else, just a couple of dollars. Uh, I kept having a bit of a dig. It does take quite a bit of time to find these items, guys. It looks like it's a quicker process when I cut this YouTube video up, but it is a little bit of a, a process. This one here was an awesome find, though. Uh, it was a LA Rams uh, champions um, or conference champions hat uh, for the NFL. So that one there should be a pretty quick seller. It was completely genuine and new era. I should be able to get upwards of $30 for that hat. Uh, another pair of Birkenstocks. These were a lot better than the first pair that I showed you guys. But there was so much wear on the on the foot uh, bed that you can see there that I couldn't see the size of these shoes. Uh, so because I couldn't see the size, I ended up leaving them behind. But they would have made about forty to fifty dollars on eBay if I could know what size they were. And then I kept moving and kept digging and kept pushing through all of this and. Uh, I ended up finding this one here, which I thought was pretty unreal for the end of the second rotation. A World Series LA Dodgers hat. Pretty cool. All right, I've just stepped out for lunch. I had a lot of fun in that second round, actually. Um, I've realized what happens with the, um, I've realized what happens with the shoes. So when you find one shoe and you're looking for the other and somebody else has found it, it's a coin toss. It makes sense. Unfortunately, I've just lost both coin tosses that I was involved in. <laughs> it was a really nice pair of Birkenstocks, um, like really nice pair of Birks, and I, uh, I miss them. And then the other one as well was, um, what was the other one? Oh, it was a pair of Nike Pegasus um, Zoom trail running shoes, which were actually, again, sort of a 60 to $70 shoe in like new condition. Tails never fails. Well, yes, it does. So I lost both, so I had to hand them over. Um, but yeah, hopefully I've got some luck in the afternoon with those, uh, with those coin tosses because that's a cool way of doing it. All right, next up is lunch. We do need to get some lunch. It's uh, 12.30. I think I'm gonna go and get some Subway. There's a Subway across the road. Keeping it pretty simple today.
One thing that I didn't think would happen on this USA trip is bumping into some viewers of the channel. But while I was at the bins, that's exactly what happened. Well, that's awesome, man. Yeah, we're Thank just want to so say we're big fans. Like, oh, I appreciate it. Up. That's epic. I, had, I thought you were going to, you said you were going to go to America, but I didn't think you were going to be in LA. So yeah, crazy. we were in LA for a couple of days and then I go to uh, North Carolina for FlipCon with uh, uh, Harry Tornado. With Harry, yeah. Woo! So catching up with them and then um, I'm actually coming back here for a weekend in two weeks. Nice. And then I'm flying home out of LA again. Ooh. So I've been here all day, I've been here since 8. Oh wow, yeah, you found cool. some I've got a trolley over there, there's a good maybe 15, 20 items. There's, there's other bins around here too. Oh, They're not far. that far. No. Uh, I think Panorama is like... 30 minutes? 30 minutes? 30 minutes. The better one's Long Beach though. Long Beach has more pie stuff that you'd probably get. Gotcha, yeah. yeah. I mean, this is cool. I went here last year, um, so I knew where to go, I guess, this time around. I just shot straight here. Uh, but I don't have a car hire or anything like that, so I'm just on the bus. And I'm in, uh, I'm in Beverly Grove, so I just pushed up here 30 minutes, 30 minutes back. Wow. Um, but this is too kind. Yeah. No, yeah, we're also like, cool, so I don't do that. I think that's awesome. You don't have to do that. Way. I appreciate yeah. it. I appreciate it. Good to meet you guys. Good to meet you. Yeah, I mean, good luck. Yeah, good luck, dude. Appreciate yeah. it. Thanks, Eves. Man, that was really cool to meet viewers of the channel while I'm on the other side of the world in the LA bins is just a real thrill. So thank you very much for saying hi. Um, I moved in and had a look at that, which was a Jurassic Park hoodie, and I ended up leaving it. As much as it was a really sweet print, I just don't think I could have made too much money selling it on to eBay. Uh, I did find this, though, which was a Wu-Tang Clan jumper. I had a look on eBay because I wasn't sure of the comps on this thing, and Wu-Tang Clan can go for some pretty good money on eBay. Uh, this was a hoodie, it was size medium, and I undenied for quite a while, guys, but I ended up throwing it back into the bins, and looking back at the footage, I kind of regret it. I actually think that might have been a good find. Uh, Dunder Mifflin as well, I just loved the office, so I could have gone ahead and picked that up, but just being early into the trip, I left it behind. Uh, and this one right here as well, this was a cool find. It was a women's size medium pair of track pants, so clean. This thing was like new. I couldn't believe that it had found itself at a Goodwill bin, and I ended up grabbing it because of that. It would have been about a $3 purchase, and I reckon I'm going to be able to sell it for about $35. This thing wasn't clean. This was such a frustrating find, guys, because it was my first piece of Carhartt that I've been able to find while I'm over here in America. This stuff sells so well in Australia. It was a size large, but I actually put it back into the bins later on uh, just because there were too many stains on it. Uh, this here, though, was another really crispy piece. Um, this was a champion sweater. It was a size small, which I don't normally pick up size smalls. Uh, but given the fact that it was in such good nick, I think I can get about $35 for it. So I ended up picking up that one as well. So that was, that was, yeah, yeah okay. I, I think that was pretty rad. Um, these here, these shoes, I've ended up going ahead and uh, grabbing these guys, but I don't think that, that they are authentic. These are a pair of Nike Air Force Ones. There's no laces to them. I had a look at the style code. I did some research and I think they're about a $400 shoe on StockX but I think somebody else has done a bit of a look into it and deemed them to be fake. That's just my thoughts on it, um, but I'm gonna do my research, I'm gonna take it home, do a check check, and see if they aren't authentic. Um, what I also had a look at was some DVDs. There were some books, there were some comics, DVDs, a lot of other bits and pieces, some more plush toys. I ended up not going ahead with this one here because it was a region one, and that one doesn't actually play back in Australia. It's only a DVD compatible for America. Um, so I ended up having to, having to leave that one. Um, but I did buy a suitcase though because I need to transport all the stuff that I'm buying today uh, not only back home to my Airbnb but also back home to Australia and this one here is actually only going to cost me a couple of dollars and to be honest with you guys this suitcase was like new so I was able to fit all of the goods that I bought into that suitcase oh, man. Balls. how good hey yes man couldn't right. believe it I'm going to take this one out boss yeah no, no stress So total with the close, it's going to be 62, 60. Thanks man, all good, just put it on the card. Yeah, sure. Whoa, we're back guys, what a massive day it's been, but we've got a really cool haul here that I wanted to quickly take you through and I wanted to crunch the numbers on it as well to let you know what my estimated overall profit's going to be. Firstly, I've been able to source 23 really cool items, stuff that I love to sell myself personally and, and even look for myself as well. So, you know, the hats is a perfect example. We're able to come away with eight hats here. I think the LA State Penitentiary Tag Team hat is probably my favorite. Um, that was awesome. But then a bunch of other hats, the sports hats, even that adored hat, 
think I'm gonna wear this one tomorrow. This one might be my new personal hat for this trip. Um, we've got awesome items. We've got the DVDs, which I didn't think we we're gonna pick up. We've got about nine clothing items as well, which is something that back home in Australia I've phased out of, but it is gonna be a heavy focus on this trip just because it is a lighter weight item. I'm gonna be able to bring more units home. Um, we've got five pairs of shoes as well. Um, so all up guys, 23 items. It worked out to just $62.00 and 16 cents, which is 100 Australian dollars. So I had a bit of a look into it and I estimated every single one of these items at an average sale price, conservatively speaking, will be about $25. So that works out to $575 worth of estimated resale value. Now you've got to ship every single one of them off and I think they're all gonna pretty much go into a small satchel. So that's gonna be about $8.50. Uh, when you times that out, that's $195. When you put that in with the eBay fees that come along with it, this $575 valued haul should net me about a $200 profit when it's all said and done. So basically I've made myself $200 grabbing out all of these items from the Goodwill bins today. So I do really think that if you're a beginner thrifter out there and you're from the States and you get access to this sort of an opportunity, going out and digging for items at the Goodwill bins, I definitely think that you should because it's a super cheap way to get 23 items for a hundred bucks. It worked out to like $4 per item, uh, which is just crazy considering I think they'll all go on to sell really well. Uh, if you do wanna purchase any of these items, uh, let me know on Instagram, at the Aussie Flipper. Uh, we'll always do things a little bit cheaper for you than buying it on eBay. Uh, I'll pretty much knock off the, uh, the eBay fees. You'll save about 15% of what I would try to sell it for anyway. So uh, do appreciate your support if you are looking to purchase any items throughout this USA trip. But uh, man, it's just been a lot of fun. It's good to be back in the bins. It's not the end of my Goodwill bins experience. I'm gonna, definitely gonna try and do a few more days uh, over the two week trip. And uh, yeah, this was, just, this was just a cool first day. It's cool to be in LA. Appreciate you tuning into this one, guys. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. We'll see you soon.